Welcome to Subsistence. So uh, this is a different playthrough than I have been uploading. Um, I have played for about 200 days uh, on this playthrough and uh, I don't have hunters enabled. I purely want to explore the building and all the cool stuff um, in uh, the recent update and all that stuff. So you can see we've got nice crops growing up here. I'm uh, gradually get e getting everything up upgraded here check this out we got the one of these uh, little stairwell thingies here um, and uh, but I've got this stair I just added that one because I wanted to check it out and I've uh, got a couple generators refrigerator and all kinds of stuff my weapons are upgraded look at how much I've reinforced <laughs> this place um, it's very similar to my playthrough my year two playthrough uh, in as much as it's the same location and very close to the same build um, and this by having played through this this is how I knew that I could stick this thing down here and it's full of chickens and stuff and we're gonna all right let's uh let's get them fed and water uh, I got this chest look at how many tomatoes I've got I've got so much stuff let's just split one of these off and we're gonna pop that in there get some water in there and I I want to get out and, and do some stuff real quick here. Um, so I don't... Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm out of space in there. Although I could combine some of those uh, tomatoes down. Um, but I've got them split up so it's easier to feed my chickens. But uh, no, I'm just going to run around. I want to I want to find lock crates and I, I want to find deer for you guys. And I'll, I'll show you. Okay, i got a freaking wolf over there. Like without the hunters, it's so much easier to get around stuff, and yet it's still a real pain to try and find a deer. So here's where we're gonna go. I'm gonna head this direction, like all the way across the map. Uh, that is where I have had my most successful deer hunting adventures. Is on pretty much near the fence on the other side of the map. So as we go, I'm just gonna grab a few things. Not really interested in a whole lot except for maybe some iron ore and we'll grab whatever crates we find. But uh, it's it's all really about the lock crates right now. I've got... Um, oh, here, let's grab this ore. It's all about the lock crates and the deer right now because I need adhesive. Um, and that's, that's proving to be a real challenge even without any hunters involved. And I've got, like... I've got combat helmet and all my gear is the top-notch gear um, in this playthrough so we're really really well into this and uh, you know if I wanted to I could probably um, get the uh, alloy sheets done to finish out all of the remaining uh, structures I've got built uh, and get them all reinforced uh, but I'm I'm spending a lot of my iron ore on making lockpicks. I've got two on me right now, and that's just a regular crate. Yeah, maybe it's a lock crate. I don't know. Whatever. We got we got plenty of ammo. Let's just go ahead and kill this guy. And what is that over there? I can't tell. All right, let's just go ahead and take care of this. I do need the um, the fat. I keep my generators running because I've got grow lights going and the refrigerator going, and I like to run the mass uh, fabricator uh, quite a bit just to keep our mass up. Although it's not running now, I don't I don't tend to run that when I leave because it just runs forever and bottoms your power out and then turns off the fridge. So we don't like that at all. But here's the deal, guys. Over, like, we're still not even there yet. We're maybe halfway to where I have uh, found deer periodically. Uh, avoid the bears. Oh, look, look, here's a deer. That's freaking great. We're going to get out this gun. So now you see how they'll, they'll run and... Okay, he's going to stop here real soon. There. He stopped, but I can't get much closer than right about here. And there's a there's a wolf. Now if I could get a headshot, it could take I could take him down in one shot. 
but um, headshots are kind of difficult. I, I have a difficult time seeing them. Now, the other thing I could do is just go for a body shot. Yeah, it's... We're going to have to chase it a bit. Because, okay, there it is. It's looking at us and... Headshot. And it's gone. So, okay. Up here, like... In the higher uh, altitudes, kind of towards the, the mountain, not, not all the way up towards the mountain, uh, and out, you know, near these plains and stuff, this is where I've been finding the deer. Now, this one is closer in towards my base than I have typically found them. So, they do wander around, and they do get killed by bears. I've seen wolves chase them, but they outrun the wolves pretty easily. Uh, but if they run into a bear, like if they get too close, the bear will just one shot them. You know, it'll just take a swipe and, and take them down. Um, now, if you don't get the head shot on them, it takes only two two body shots. So they're not bad on on the um, on ammo as long as you can get your shot. So, we, I think, were pretty fortunate to find one this early in the day. Um, yesterday, like in-game yesterday, I came out here and I looked and looked and looked and looked and I eventually found one, but in order to get it, I had to take out a wolf and a, and a uh, cougar. And I, I got, like, diseased and stuff. I, it was a bad situation. I almost got killed um, fighting the cougar. The wolf was no big deal, but the it did it did come at me at an inopportune time, and I didn't get the one shot on it. So it got a bite on me, got me infected, and I wasn't carrying an antidote with me, which I have remedied now. I've got three antidotes on me. What the hell? I'm hearing a bear. Oh, it's the bear's chasing a deer. Wow. Wow, that is bizarre. I that it's super rare to find a deer just run across your path like that. So, where did it run to? And like I said, they don't run very far. They generally just, you know, they bolt. They get a little bit of distance away from whatever was chasing them and then they chill. So there he is over there. So now if I can stay a little bit up on high ground without getting too close to the bear. Try for another headshot and oh. Damn it. Right. No, I didn't get the head but Is the wolf chasing it? Yep. Yeah, I see how, like, the wolf chased it, but couldn't keep up with it. So, oh, damn it. Now I've got to get around. There's a bear to the left and, and this wolf. So I'm going to try and find, and there's another wolf. And this is one of the my complaints is, like, there are so many wolves and bears uh, in comparison to the number of deer it doesn't seem right I mean how can these carnivores survive on one deer that they share between you know like a hundred of them that doesn't seem that doesn't seem like a good ratio but I don't know where this freaking deer went I may have to take out some wolves. Because I have no idea where that deer bounded off to, but I really, really want to find it, obviously. That's why I'm out here in the first place. But you can see, you now it's like everywhere I go, there's freaking wolves and bears everywhere. So, to try and track down a deer in the midst of all of that is 
a little bit problematic at times. There's another wolf over there. Yeah, and I have no idea, obviously, where the wolf went or where the deer. Good lord! Another freaking wolf. You have no idea where the deer ran off to. I'm assuming it's somewhere behind me there, but it's like I'm just running into packs of wolves. But we'll check out here and then I'll kind of cruise back over in that direction a little bit later. Now the game got started getting a little stuttery for me, so I turned off shadows. Uh, and it, I mean, the game still looks great without the shadows. And in fact, I might, I might just continue playing without the shadows on, uh, just because the game runs it's very smooth. Like, I, I run applications in the background oftentimes that um, can be a little bit taxing. But this game isn't a resource hog, so that's not a big deal normally. Um, I don't know what, what I had going that was um, causing the stutters earlier on when I was playing. But the shutting down the shadows seems to have resolved it. I need to, yeah, let's eat some protein and some berries. I'm not carrying a canteen or a bottle of water or anything with me, but I probably should when I come out on these long ventures. Alright, I see another bear. And a wolf. I'm just gathering up all these loot crates as we go through this area and then I'll probably hit up a um, like take out a, a wolf or two just so I can kind of clear the, the terrain and allow me a little more free passage to hunt. Yeah, the bear I'm not interested in taking on out here but the wolves they're really no problem. Not, not with a good upgraded shotgun. I've upgraded both the um, firepower and and the clip size on well two of these three web uh, guns that I've got. Where the hell's the wolf? Are you stalking me? Yes, you're stalking me. Okay, come on, just come over here. I'll show you actually um, when I get back if I'm thinking about it I'll show you guys what I have amassed resource wise okay you, you want to die too come on I'm sick of these freaking wolves come on I've got so much stuff like I you know I could burn through I don't know 30 or 40 shotgun shells uh, and it wouldn't it wouldn't bother me a bit. I've got so much stockpiled. I mean, it's easy to stockpile when you're um, not having to contend with hunters. And it, when you've played for 200 days. So that's that's a big factor too. Um, Alright, so now where where is the deer? It was It had come over in this direction, I think, right? a bear. I don't know, we'll just, we'll keep cruising around to see what we can find. We might get lucky. There, I mean, if they, wow, look at this, spawned right in front of us, and I need this. Unless it's potassium. Is that potassium? No, it's iron. Good. Don't really need the potassium. I've got, like, I've got the three plant beds going on this playthrough. 
and oh, look at all this ore up there. It might be difficult to get to. I'd like to get it, but um, yeah, with those three plant beds, I've also got three uh, wood burners going. And can I climb this? That's too steep to get up there. Well, whatever. It doesn't matter. I'm not actually out here for ore. And that's potassium. I don't need that. I don't need the potassium because um, with the three wood burners, I've got plenty of ash to feed my plants. Plus, uh, a full hutch gives me plenty of poop as well. So, and I've got like. I've got a box that's almost completely full of the ash as it stands. Now, you will need lots of ash if you plan to make adhesive using um, the uh, the antlers from the deer that we're hunting here. But so far, I have found so many freaking lock crates that uh, I haven't had to make up a lot of uh, adhesive if I've been fortunate enough to have found uh, a good amount of it. And frankly, I started this playthrough before that patch. So, uh, the patch that, that changed recipes and things. So, I already had two solar panels placed and upgraded um, before the recipe got changed. And I did add a third solar panel later on, and I'm going to add a fourth just because it's really nice to have all that power flowing in during the day. Well, hell. I would like to, all my chickens are level 10 except for one is like a level 1 or something now. I just, I just pulled one out uh, like a day or two ago. Where's the, where's the deer at? And my stamina is starting to drain a little bit. Yeah, I'm going to need some water here. But, not a big deal. With this equipment, um, I can take uh, hits from bears and, and wolves. And I've got, uh, I've got all the medical supplies I need to keep myself healthy enough. So even if I run out of stamina and I get caught, um, not a big thing as long as I keep my head and and blast them with my upgraded shotgun. But well, okay, we we got one deer and we missed out on the second one. Uh, but you see, there where we had found them, we we I had to go so far across the map. To, to track uh, a couple of them down. And of course, you know, when you're dealing with all these other predators um, on the map, it's, you know, you gotta, you gotta be ready for it, you know. You gotta be ready to clear, clear the predators out of the way so that you can get to your deer. Now what I've done um, like uh, yesterday in game when I had to actually I think it was a bear, a wolf, and a cougar that I had to deal with before I could get to the uh, there's that spawn that's got all the bears and wolves that all stack on top of each other. It's I don't like that spawn at all. Um, yeah, so I, I had to kill off all, all these other things. Um, and normally what, like if they're close, they don't eat the carcass. Like if you sh okay, there's a bear hiding behind a little bush. Um, if you, if you're able to get a shot on a deer and take it down, you get the headshot and, and you drop the deer, 
You could drop it literally right in front of a bear, and the bear's not going to eat it uh, or anything. Um, it's just going to, you know, notice you and, and want to kill you. So, uh, in my opinion, the best way to deal with this situation is first get the deer, if you can. And then clear out any of the predators you need to in order to get to your carcass. And then harvest that deer carcass as soon as you can. And then, you know, harvest the other stuff uh, afterwards. Because, let's face it, you're out after the, the antlers. Um, and so, I mean, if you end up getting a little extra meat and and fat and stuff from other things as you're out there. That's just bonus stuff, but not your original intent. So, there we go. We'll, we'll bring back a chicken. We're, we're close to base now. Uh, there you are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I hear my, my puppy behind me is having a nightmare or something. She's she's making squeaky noises in her sleep. She does that when she dreams. It's cute. I wish you guys could hear it. She's great. I love my dog. I call her a puppy, but she's like nine years old. She's just one of those little dogs. I never thought that I would like love a little an ankle biter type dog so much but she's not like that she's not one of those yippy types although she is half chihuahua she's uh she's not like a chihuahua she's she's half a miniature schnauzer and half chihuahua i call her a chihuahua yeah i think that's cute but um no she's freaking awesome she's just a really really great companion dog i mean she would try and protect me if she thought I was in trouble, but I don't think that would help a whole lot. So, let's see here. Let's go ahead and craft up a couple fuel bricks. We're going to need those. We're going to put this chicken in. Oh, we're out of food and water. Of course we are. Let's grab five of these. Do I have a stack of five? Uh, I've got a stack of four. Let's split one more. I'm going to need to drink some water, too. But first things first, we we'll take care of our animals. Grab that. And then uh, we're going to put this chicken in here, which means I need to grab one of our level 10s out and put this guy in there. Good. Now that we got the fuel brick, let's split that in half and put one of these guys in there. Let's go ahead and get some water. And you'll notice over here, on my little pier, here we've got another stove. So we're going to put a fuel brick in there. Grab this out of there. And this is what I like to do. Go ahead and fill up my waters here. Swap them, and then I've got water. Oh, and I need to drink a couple of these. So we'll just go ahead and fill those up. And you'll notice I've got another chest here. I'll just show you real quickly what I've got going. i got a chest. Here's my fishing stuff. i got like 37 uh, tackles, and i got some extra grubs and, and various things if I needed to make a fire starter kit and all that. And I got extra fuel bricks in there and all that stuff. So that's that's my little fishing shack. And obviously you've seen in here, I've got extra, all kinds of extra stuff, more grubs and things in here. Um, I guess I can put that in there also. And then, uh, what else? I think that's it. Let's just go ahead and get our water back in here. I think these need more water, right? Yeah, we'll take care of that later, though. And they could use another, um... They could 
use another tomato, but uh, let's go in here. All right, I need another fuel brick. So I've got some in here. Let's split one of those guys. And look how much I got a bunch of extra wood. I've got 23 of those things, uh, of the adhesives. I got 24 of the antlers and all kinds of all kinds of goodies there. Um, and my fridge, look how much stuff I got in my fridge. So we're gonna eat one of those. And uh, you know what, I don't need, like, look, I've got so much liver and I've got so many steaks and things um, I don't really need any of that. Um, let's see, what do I need? I need to turn on my generator. Yeah, we'll go ahead and turn on both generators for now because I'm going to do this. I'm going to put this meat in there and that meat in there and this in there. Yeah, don't really need it. It's just going to go bad anyway. So um, then the fuel brick and we're going to render up this fat and then okay here this chest look at I've got look at all this sinew I've got sinew I've got all this padded cloth I got 20 rope right there extra stuff healing things and all this cloth and I've got all the stuff you know all this stuff in there and look at how many of these premium uh, feathers I've got to make premium arrows with that's nothing though look over here this is I've got all this stuff in here and then okay let's, let's put away do we have any of this that put that in there and then this is just kind of a catch-all uh, to put a bunch of stuff in uh, because I, I start running out of room for things and uh, let's put that in there and this and that and this stuff will go up top okay we'll get this going over here like so and then uh, here's our our thingy. I'm going to go ahead and turn that on because I've got both generators running. And then there's this. I've got all this extra ammo and extra miscellaneous stuff in here. And then this chest over here, another kind of catch-all. It's got all kinds of extra stuff in here. I, I, gotta need, I need to get it more organized. This is, look at all my, these are ores. Now I go through the iron ore quite a bit, the iron fragments. This stuff is all processed up and I've got mixtures of crap in here and extra stuff but you can see here I've got look at all of these burnt livers I could make antidotes for weeks and this an extra one here and and then over here look at all this ammo I've got now not as many of the uh, shotgun shells and the rifle ammo because I use that a lot but um, I could I could make more of any of it anytime I want because I got all the other stuff so let's go up and check our plants with the grow lights going and everything upgraded, these grow so freaking fast. So, oh, let's butcher this guy. Let's kill it. And then we'll butcher it up. And we get the fat and the premium feathers and all that stuff. It's great. But look, I got so many. I just I planted some medicinal herbs so I could make more of the um, biofuel with it. But then I've got so many. Like, things grow so fast with the grow lights. And... So now look, I've got look at how many tomatoes I've got in here. I've got potassium and all kinds of stuff, extra stuff in here. Um, we'll take these tomatoes down, and I think I'll go ahead and start making uh, some biofuel real quick here. Cause why not? I burn through the biofuel pretty fast, and we had just the right number for that. So then that's what I grew that for. But we'll put this in here. And I'll get these things seeded up and planted. But I thought you guys might enjoy seeing this playthrough that it were really, really well established. And I'm thinking I will uh, initiate hunters in here. But first, I'm going to get the whole freaking place reinforced. I, I should be able to do that. It's just a matter of, you know, the power and, and stuff uh, to get it done. But uh, we we'll get it all reinforced, and then I bring hunters in, and then we'll see... Uh, who's boss so i hope you guys enjoyed this if you did please smash that like button leave me any comments tips tricks recommendations or death threats subscribe if you haven't and we will talk with all of you again very very soon and here's another box filled with all kinds of goodies yeah so i love it uh, talk to you guys soon